the industrial age is over. It's been over for a while. All American industry has been outsourced to essentially slave plantations in other countries. So now you're in an information era society. So the old coal and iron police model no longer works. There's going to have to be a new and older model of policing that will be multifaceted. There are already, I think, 18 federal agencies with uh, licenses to kill, with l law enforcement powers in the United States. Uh, there, uh, from those agencies, from the traditional police, and from uh, uh, the earlier sources, mercenaries, for instance, the oldest policemen were mercenaries. We are going to see that again. We saw that during Korea, during Katrina in New Orleans. Mercenaries landed and they fought, okay, in Katrina, in, in New Orleans, when Katrina hit. Uh, mercenaries were used to put down civil unrest. During the Baltimore riots, myself and a man who I call Mescaline Franklin, who was like, like a you know, radical political punk rocker figure, uh, were walking home five minutes after the curfew in Baltimore uh, during the riots. Four big military haircut goons that looked like middle linebackers, four of these big blonde buzz cut guys with BDUs with no insignia on them, military or law enforcement, just roll up and roll down the windows. And they were grinning. And they said, you know, there's a curfew in place. And these guys are half my age and twice my size. And I said, yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. We're on the way home. A little bit old. Trouble in the hip. My friend's helping me. Okay. <laughs> That's the future of police work. People are going to cheer because the pigs that have been yeah, it harassed me 28 times in Baltimore City and Baltimore County that these people are on the ropes and they're no longer uh, the pillars of the community. They never were. They were just the biggest gang in town. They were in charge of beating the crap out of the other gangs. Ultimately, they were there to make sure if I successfully defended myself, I would be dragged off and put in a cage. That's why they were ultimately there. In the meantime, they recreationally busied themselves with beating the crap out of random people, oftentimes for no reason at all. Okay, but it was practice for when they had to come after the law-abiding citizen to successfully defend himself against the criminal. So uh, modern policing, the regular cops are going to devolve into mostly like public safety officers, which you already have in a lot of American cities. And then the real arrest, it's going to be like Camden, New Jersey, where you got U.S. Marshals doing the arrests. And you've got cops from other districts. I have a friend of mine whose nephew... Uh, came home from school and his sister was handcuffed in Pennsylvania by Baltimore County cops. Yeah. They had police powers in Pennsylvania. Hartford County police in Maryland have powers to arrest in Baltimore City if they get a warrant. Okay, so you're going to see cops from outside of your jurisdiction, which started with the Baltimore riots and the Ferguson riots you're going to end up dealing with cops that aren't even from your jurisdiction. It's going to be part of the evolution of it. Eventually, you're going to be dealing with a local public safety officer who's handing you the paperwork and showing up with a clipboard, and he's got the camera on, and the federal cops and mercenaries behind him are hoping you light him up so they can light you up. Okay, That's eventually where it's going to end up going. It's going to be mercenary work. It's going to be elite federal task force. Uh, it's going to become more like Athenian and Egyptian policing. And you don't often get near Roman policing, where it was kind of like a community thing with aspects of the feud in it, you know. Because uh, that's a little bit ugly, and civilized people or civilized modern people are such sissies, they can't deal with that, you know. So you're going to, and in Baltimore, city I'm going back to tomorrow, they currently have a drone a military drone on station at all times. In Baltimore County, I saw five drones in formation flying over the house I was staying in, okay, going to investigate a shooting that was about a mile and a half away. Uh, that's where it's going. Eventually, the least empathetic police officer is going to be that robot. It's going to be that drone. So I predict that at one day in the future, uh, you're going to have drones that can zip tie you and they'll just leave you, and then there'll be a collection patrol. 
that will come and they'll pick you up. <laughs> okay, enjoy the future. I got a few more years of it left, but the rest of you are in for a ride. <laughs>